Okay, this is a test. <laughs> Don't know if this is good or bad idea. I've got the fans on. I haven't had my shower yet. My hair's rank and I'm all sweaty. But my demo order just turned up, so I really want to get into it. Because we're not doing a lot this week while the others are on holiday, it's just me. I thought, okay, I'll unpack and see what gives on this Timu. I mean, it's everywhere, you all know about it, I'm pretty sure. So I wanna open it and find out. <sighs> Which I went on the site actually and did um, price adjustments. That's what I went and did this morning, which I never knew existed. But if you click on a previous order, uh, on, on your orders, on your from your account, then go to orders. And I can see on a previous order here that you've got your normal track, leave a review, buy this again, return refund, change address, etc. But there was another button there saying, um, and price adjustment appears if a product that you've purchased has recently gone down so they give you the price difference wicked huh how many companies do that so i did that on a couple of them this morning i mean i didn't get a huge amount i got six pound 23 <laughs> but why well, sniff at it it's your money and they're prepared to give it back go in and check and apparently you can go in and check quite regular so I'll go in there every few days, I suppose, and have a nosy. I think it's just a good way of getting you back to the site. The prices alone should do. <laughs> anyway, okay, I've got these grey socks. Now they look like just your basic ankle socks. Actually feel pretty good. Yep. I mean... I'm quite surprised. <laughs> £1.79 for five pairs. Oh, you can't go wrong with that, can you? And if you've got kids, geez, you got to get them. Let's have a look. What have we got now? Uh, let's leave the clothes to one side. What is that? Oh, yeah. Obviously, as we're doing woodwork etc I thought I'd look for a little bit of tools and woodwork and stuff and this helps you cut angles and draw mitres and things on corners of wood it looks like just a chunk of plastic but actually all these little lines etc and the holes can help you with marking the wood and for something let's have a look see what price was the price was one pound 28 one pound 20 it's got to be worth a try for one pound 28 isn't it okay these little things they go on bottles and they produce like for watering indoor plants and then you can water like, kind of a waste of time to be honest I can't see that they can I bet only certain bottles are going to fit it and you could just tip from the bottle in the first place why do you need a sprinkle but they were 57p so I bought them <laughs> yeah probably a waste of time ah cat collar Monty bought in a bird this morning, so he definitely needs this around his little neck. But he keeps losing them, and this was 26p. So if he hooks this one up in a hedge, it's 26p. It's better than the 14 quid one he's just bloody lost. So I've got a cat collar. <laughs> well, I didn't get it. Monty's gonna get it. Poor little birdie this morning. Okay. As you can probably see from my background, there's a lot of sort of craft things, etc. And when we're painting stuff, these little stands stand on the table and they hold up a shelf or something so you can paint the edges. 
something really stupid but I'm forever looking around for something to help me with that so I thought okay I came across them on the site and they were £1.98 so hey can't go wrong with that gonna give them a go they're gonna work I mean it's nothing more than uh, just some scourers for the kitchen nothing special nothing new um, they're slightly abrasive most mostly I think for the bottom of the frying pans etc that's what I got these for um, rather than Brillo and stuff like that let's see how much they were I mean nothing here was a huge amount of money uh, where are you come on 48p I wish they wouldn't cover everything in so much plastic though uh, but 48p I know. Gotta give them a go, haven't you? Right. What are these? These are exciting. Oh, I know what these are. Can you see them? They got like little wheels, ball bearings on the bottom. So you can put them under, you stick them under your bin, and therefore it makes your bin wheelie gives you the sticky pads and the four wheels so that I can move my kitchen bin around without it being dragged across the floor and that was £1.28 need I say more? <laughs> no <laughs> oh, that's crazy isn't it? oh two more cat collars for Monty <laughs> these I've already got something similar to this and I think I paid five pound for it and it is a data protection thing so when you get letters through you can run the ink pad over your address and name etc and it hides it it redacts that's what it is I've got a redacting ink pad and it yeah it cost me about a fiver whereas this one was Tate's own trace. There it is, 88p. So I bought a couple of them. Bought a couple of them and I bought teeth whitening. I mean, I'm British and old. So they're yellow. Give them a go. <laughs> I've tried all sorts. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. <laughs> How much were they? They're strips, so I don't know. They probably won't work. I doubt they work. It's for seven pieces is £1.34. So there must be seven strips in there. And you put a strip on per day. Now, I don't know if that's a strip just for the top teeth or for the top and bottom teeth. So have you got to use one or two per day? Don't know. We'll find out later. <laughs> oh, more ball bearings to move the heavier bins around. I just thought, oh gosh, for the money, I think these were two pound forty eight. Two pound forty eight, yeah, these were. They definitely. I mean, even for like, so sort of, say, the coffee table in the front room. That's gonna be good. Oh, this is fake plants. I like my dangly fake plants. Okay, as long as you can, they've got to be strong enough so you can dunk them in the sink and give them a good wash because they get dusty. But you don't want to look, you know, too yuck. And these, I've got a real one of these. I can't remember what they're called, but there's a few varieties similar, isn't there, to this? And it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's a fake plant. <laughs> There's no getting away from it. It's fake. And it don't look real. I'm not going to say it looks real when it doesn't. But I reckon once I've got it in a, the right pot hanging, it adds just adds a little bit of greenery to the place. And to me, a room doesn't look 
finished until it's got a bit of greenery in it. Onwards. What's this? I really should have had a shower and done my hair and everything. <laughs> I've done nothing. I'm no longer out of bed. I look a mess. It's me. Okay, more for doing with the woodworking. This is a triangle. I state the obvious trace. I think everyone can see that it's a triangle. <laughs> but it's to help with the measurements. And it's got a ruler edging. It's got inches this side. <coughs> Hay fever. Sorry. It's really hot. <laughs> but it's metal. It's a triangle. It can do the degrees for us. These are all the little tools and things that we've not got because, well, we've only just started on this sort of journey. £3.48. There were cheaper ones, but this one's metal. And I kind of wanted a metal one. And not just plastic. Plastic. What we got here? Um, hair shorts. No, I won't be doing no trials. <laughs> this body's way too fat for me to be showing you in something don't fit. <laughs> but I've got everything in super duper big size, so <laughs> it should work. And anything that don't work will go back. So dog poop bags. Nothing to say here. It's dog poop bags. One pound ninety seven. Need them. Need them. Okay. <laughs> okay, something for the kitchen here. It sits on the side. I like the fact that you can take the bottom off if you want and then put it onto the drainer. But it sits on the side. So it's got little holes for drainage. It's a sturdy bit of plastic. The bottom comes off so this is good for when it's not on the drainer so it catches all the drips which is what I will probably do with it and you can put your wet knives and forks in it it's straightforward but mine hooks up on the edge at the moment and it's kind of annoying how much did I pay for this let's find out it's really good and strong £3.28 that was. Oh, well worth it. I mean, I've been to Duns, etc. and had a look at all the Addis ones and this is way stronger. Nice that. Give that a go. I think that's going to definitely work. What we got here? Something stupid. That's the only problem with going on the Timu site. I mean, you start off just looking for the practical stuff. Oh, I must go and find a pair of scissors because we need some. And then you end up looking at toot and tack that you don't need <laughs> and that you might not use, but you just want. <laughs> like these. Uh, I love my indoor plants and I really thought these were cute and I really don't know why I bought them. I don't know. But I did. Let's see how much I spent on them. <laughs> well, you've got 90 days to send it back if you want. 89p. <laughs> I know. But I don't really need them. <laughs> but they're so cute. <laughs> so I might put them in a pot next to my plants. <laughs> I like them. What have we got here? It's so weird that you don't get a packing slip with Timu. Um, so you have to kind of just try and remember what they've sent or tick it go online, I suppose, and look at your order and tick it off with that. It's weird that you don't get the packing slips though. Got this is plastic wrapped in plastic in another piece of plastic. And this, oh, it's pink, so it must be the silicon little pot 
for my air fryer. I'm getting fed up with cleaning. I mean, I love the air fryer. It's not just an air fryer. It's like a toaster oven air fryer, so it's pretty big. And the grill pan, it's a complete pain in the ass to clean. <sighs> so, I thought I'd try one of the little, one of the little, it's a bit scrushed up, but <laughs> it's just a silicon pot that you can sit in the air fryer. And that way I've only got that to wash rather than the friggin' um, wire rack. I think it was 80p. Let's have a look. 89p. 89p. Thought I'd give that a try. Yep, looks good to me. I'll try that. <gasps> These bra extenders. <laughs> I get lose weight, I get fat, I lose weight, I get fat, uh, bra gets tight, bra gets baggy, bra extenders, don't need to say anymore, <laughs> how much were they, let's have a look, I've forgotten how much they were, <sighs> 39 pence, and there's four of them, there's two nude, a white and a black, <laughs> I know. Let's get these out of here. Ooh. Eek! I have to check all the edges just in case there's like little stuff in there. What we got here? Uh, pretty much the same as what everyone I think has been buying. It's um, a slicer. I've got dodgy eye, so cutting onions is starting to get risky <laughs> so I thought I'd give this a whirl now I've seen a few people use them and even though you've got to put a bit of welly behind them to cut the onion it seems to work and I'll give it a go how much was it today because their prices go up and down anyway obviously with currency changes and stuff like that Oh, this one's one that's gone down because it says partially refunded. I paid £10.49 for it. So the price must have gone down because they've given me a little partial refund on it. <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? It looks pretty good. Oh, hey up. Let's plop that on the block. Oh, that's quite nice. quite nice. I really should have had the camera pointing at the desk, shouldn't I? I'm such a plonker. But I didn't, so maybe next time. <laughs> oh, never mind. And it is got all the blades. I'm pretty, I mean, if you're looking at Timu orders, hauls and stuff like that, you've seen it. So many people have been doing it. Put your onion in. So I'm going to give that a go. Save my poor little fingers. And I thought it was okay for a tenner, so they refunded me. So God knows how much I ended up paying for that. And then I've been seeing these bath mats everywhere. It's not huge. I don't think it's that huge. Normal size. But I got me black. I'm just loving black at the moment. Nearly bought the grey. And I bought two. Because I thought one would go beside the bath and one beside the shower. And you get what you pay for. I mean, they're not super duper quality or I know it looks like deep pebbles, but it's not deep pebbles it's just a pattern four pound 48 for two i know i know so i will give that a go for sure and i've got a pair of shorts which no <laughs> 
<laughs> they won't be trying on. Oh, they look really see-through. <laughs> Come on. You wouldn't want a skinny girl in see-through shorts like that. Can you see? Can you see how see-through they are? <laughs> no. You wouldn't want a skinny pretty girl in shorts like that, let alone a chunk like me. No, they're way, way too thin. No impact. They're way too see through -y. Okay, what else have I got? <sighs> That's not bad. One. One to go back out of all this. Let's put them up there. And the only other thing is that's come so far, I'm still waiting. Is, I don't know. What are you? It is. Hmm. Oh, it's like a. What do you. Is it a kimono or a cover up? It's like a buttonless shirt, but it's. Uh, sort of I mean I'll probably end up decorating a bit anyway well how much is it <sighs> so I know it's funny material £5.84 and yeah they reckon it is casual kimono Mm. In this weather, I would probably wear it because I don't like showing all my bits and pieces. That's it. That's all I got. So I've got some tat. I've got stuff I shouldn't have bought, like this silly plant watery things, and. The tooth whitener. Can't see that working. What else is stupid? Oh yeah, <laughs> the little gardening tools. They're probably stupid too. <laughs> we'll see. I got loads more coming on the next parcel. And, well, I'll open them and catch. I'll either attach it to the end of this if it comes really soon, or I'll plonk it on the next one. So until then. I should have had a shower by then and be not so sweaty Betty and yeah <laughs> fancy doing all this like this <laughs> anyway catch you on the next one